It's Friday today and I have a pretty busy day ahead of me so I wanted to start a new vlog and just bring you guys along for it. I need to go to the gym and do my workout this morning so I'm going to head over there and do my leg workout which is my second leg workout of the week and I'm actually pretty sore already so I'm just not really looking forward to that but I just gotta go get it done. It is such a gloomy day today like it is so overcast. I think it's raining. It doesn't really look like it, but it kind of looks like it's supposed to. I always like to have a light breakfast before I work out. So today I'm just doing some yogurt. It's the Siggy's Vanilla Cinnamon Plant-Based Yogurt. It's like a coconut one with blueberries, raspberries, granola, and then a little drizzle of honey. And I have my coffee. So I'm gonna have this and then head out the door. leaving the gym and I bought one of these OWYN protein shakes this is their vanilla one and I've been obsessed with these lately I need to order them on Amazon or something because I keep buying them at the gym and I have a feeling they're a lot more expensive here but they have 20 grams of protein and they're just so good but I really do try to be good about getting my protein in because that's how you build muscle and maintain muscle and obviously that's important with lifting so I'm gonna drink this on my way home I've been getting a lot of questions about my current workout split so I figured I would just update you on that really quick usually I do legs on Monday shoulders chest tries Tuesday hot Pilates Wednesday back and biceps on Thursday and then legs again on Friday sometimes it changes depending on what I have going on because I don't always have time to drive to the gym and do my workout so I'll sometimes just do my workout in my apartment gym and change it up a little bit but I like having a pretty structured workout routine because if I don't I feel like I just wouldn't do my workouts as diligently and I would kind of just like wake up and probably skip more workouts than I should. I don't put the pressure on myself to work out on the weekends. I like to have the weekends off where I can choose to go to the gym if I want to. I can take a rest day. I can go do cardio or whatever I want, but I like making sure that I still get my lifts in during the week and then have a workout class in the middle of the week to just break it up. I'm kind of thinking of trying Reformer Pilates again at the Sunday Pilates studio because I really enjoyed that or even going to like F45 or something. I don't know, I'm just wanting to add something new into my routine because I'm slowly getting a little burnt out with it. I've been doing the same thing for quite a while now and I just want to change it 
a little bit so I'll keep you guys updated on what I decide to do but for right now it's been working good and I've been enjoying it I'm just about to head out I took a shower got ready for the day I did a light makeup and I put on a pretty comfy outfit it's really gloomy today and it was raining so I just wanted to wear something I don't know kind of match the vibe I guess so this black t-shirt is from Maritzia the pants are from Princess Polly and then my Haviana flip-flops. So I'm just doing a really comfy outfit. And the weather is a little bit colder because of, or the temperature is a little bit colder because of the weather. So I'm able to wear pants today and I don't know, just pretty chill vibes. To Roma and I bought a coffee even though I had a coffee today I was just feeling like a second midday coffee I got their honey latte they use like fresh local honey in it and it's super super good so I just figured we could do a QA. and a I've had some comments of you guys asking for me to do one just so you can get to know me a little bit better and I thought that that was a really great idea. So I asked you guys on Instagram for any questions that you have and I actually have a lot of questions here so I'm not going to be able to get through all of them because there's literally a bunch. <laughs> so the first question is what is your number one tip for staying so disciplined? You are by far my favorite YouTuber which is so sweet. Thank you. I think that having a routine is the absolute most important thing because you're not going to feel motivated every day and it's going to be really difficult some days but when you have habits that you just automatically do it makes it a lot easier because you don't really have to think about them so much you kind of just do them and it's more automatic for you so for me I have days where I don't want to work out or I don't want to eat healthy or I don't want to get up early but since I pretty much just have a routine of doing them every day they're just part of my daily life and I don't really have a choice it's just like what I do a lot of them are also about workouts and like what my favorite workout is and even though I do a lot of lifting I definitely like workout classes the best I think that they're just really fun I like that there's a start time and an end time I enjoy there being an instructor to like teach you the class and just guide you through it so that you're not um, trying to figure it out on your own and also I love the fact that there's like no phones involved you don't like go on anything and you don't get distracted it's just you in the class it's probably an hour and then it's over so I just really enjoy classes and I like it when there's other people in there because when I view a workout class I don't think I'm competing against anyone I think that we're all there and we all have the same goal to like get through the workout and so for me I just like like smiling at the people next to me and I enjoy that everyone's there to just like get a good workout in and a lot of people have asked me if I would ever go back to working a nine-to-five or like a a different job that I would really like to do and I think it would be fun to be a workout instructor I would love to teach some sort of workout class I would also love to open a coffee shop and own one I would love to start a clothing line or have some sort of clothing that I sell I do have things in mind that I would love to do not necessarily a nine-to-five I think that once you work for yourself it's fun to just be your own boss people have asked where I get my workout routines from and Brandon actually makes all my workouts for me which I'm really thankful for but I also used to love getting my workouts from Whitney Simmons and sometimes I'll still look at hers so I absolutely love her app and just like the content on her Instagram so you could check her out or Sammy Clark there's a lot of girls on Instagram that you can get workouts from what were the first steps you took when you wanted to take it better care of your body 
and I think that just bringing it back to the basics was the easiest thing for me just committing to going to the gym every day even if that was just doing cardio or like a light workout just getting myself to do movement and get comfortable in the gym also drinking enough water and just eating foods that are full of nutrients so lots of fruits and veggies or fats that are good for you that have like omega-3s, a lot of protein, and getting enough sleep at night. Not over complicating it. I think that when you want to take care of yourself, just do what's simple and easier for you and don't compare yourself to other people. Just try to not make it so overwhelming for yourself and maybe just pick a couple things. Like if you're having a hard time, maybe just do a workout or like move your body for 30 minutes every day and drink enough water and start there. Like don't do it um, to the point where it's like so hard for you. Just make it easier and simplify it a little bit. It's a little bit later in the evening. It's 5.11 right now, and it is pouring outside right now. It's so gray and just like super gloomy. So I'm doing a cozy night at home. I thought it would be fun to just like cook a yummy dinner, maybe take a bath, read my book, and just relax. Cause I finished all of my work stuff. So we're gonna make this recipe from Rachel Goodeats cookbook. And I get pretty much all of my recipes from her. I've been following all the recipes on her Instagram and now I'm obsessed with this book. So I've been making a bunch and I've actually made these teriyaki meatballs before. So I just wanna make them again because it's been a long time since I made these and they're super good. They just kind of remind me of like a cozy food to eat when it's cold out when it's fall or winter and that's how this night is feeling it definitely doesn't seem like it's summer so we're gonna make this and i picked up all the stuff at the grocery store i didn't really need to get a lot i just needed like ground chicken and a couple other things so we're gonna start doing this I should have bought two pounds of ground chicken because that's what the recipe calls for, but that's okay. I'm just gonna do half of everything. So now we're gonna add the almond flour. It's like three fourths a cup of almond flour. One egg, adding some green onion, and then red onion. Half a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, half a tablespoon of sesame oil, two tablespoons of coconut aminos. I'm gonna add the garlic powder. Generously season with salt, black pepper. So now I just need to mix everything. And then it says with clean, wet hands, roll the meat mixture into one and a half inch balls and then arrange them on a baking sheet. So I just need to mix this up and then form the meatballs. reading it all day because I'm almost done with it but I got a new bag of Epsom salt because this is empty so I'm just gonna put some in the bath with some bath bubbles this has been my favorite thing lately reading in the bath at night <laughs> Thank you. 
happy Saturday. I'm just kind of getting up and gonna do a few things around here. I tried to sleep in this morning and I just couldn't do it. I woke up at 6.55 and I had my alarm set for 7.30, but I think my body is just getting used to waking up early. So I still slept good because I went to bed by like 10. And I need to do some laundry today. It's another gloomy day. We have flash flood warning until Monday. So I'm just kind of enjoying these days inside. I might go for a walk or even do some cardio in my apartment, but it's nice to have it a little bit more gloomy outside. I just need a couple days like this, I feel like, because it has been so hot and sunny. So it's kind of motivating to like do some things around my apartment and I can read a little bit. I finished reading Reminders of Him and I have a few more Colleen Hoover books that I bought. I just got some at Target because they were on sale. So I'm gonna pick another book and start reading that. Just figured I would update you on my day. I am gonna throw the towels in the wash and start doing that. I like putting my laundry in in the morning so that I can switch the loads and pretty much get all of it done when I have multiple things to wash. I lit this candle, it's the Anthropology Espresso candle and it smells super good. I want to get a few more candles, so maybe I can do that today too, but just going to be a pretty chill Saturday. I'm going to ice roll my face, and this is my favorite ice roller. It's the Skinny Confidential one. It gets so cold, and it just feels so good. It helps me to wake up in the morning, so I do this pretty much every day. But I'm going to do that while I have my coffee, and I'm going to lay down and read for a bit, but I need to put the towels in the wash. These are all of the books that I've recently read, so I wanted to show them to you in case you're in your reading era or you need Colleen Hoover Rex. I love her writing style. The first one was It Ends With Us, which is still my number one favorite. I thought this was so heartbreaking, but it really sucked you in. I could not put it down. And they're turning this book into a movie. And then after I read It Starts With Us, which is the sequel to It Ends With Us, and it's not as good as this one, but I did really like seeing where the story ends. And then after I read Verity, which was so insane, this one is a different writing style. It's more thrilling and suspenseful. And there were parts that were a little disturbing, but I thought it was so crazy and super good. And then after I read Ugly Love, which I am obsessed with this book, it was such a good love story. And it was super heartbreaking too. I just really enjoyed this one and then I read November 9 which if you want to read this one I would definitely read Ugly Love first because the characters from Ugly Love show up in this one not that you wouldn't understand it but I feel like it's a fun connection to make while you're reading it and this one is more of a unique love story and then after I read Reminders of Him which was so good this is the one I most recently read and I really, really liked it. It was about forgiveness and just finding it. And I thought it was super cute. So I just am obsessed with her writing style. She has the best plot twists and she makes you not want to stop reading. So I just love her books. I got some packages a few days ago and I just got around to opening them. I was going to show you guys in my last vlog and then I completely forgot so I wanted to show you now. I got them from the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I'm so excited. There was a pair of slippers that I really wanted and I didn't see them until halfway through the sale so then when I went to order them I um, or they didn't have my size and so I couldn't get them. 
and I was checking and looking for them and then they ended up restocking on the last day of the anniversary sale Camilla sent them to me because she works at Nordstrom so she was like constantly checking and it was the last day and she told me that they were back in stock so it was a sign and I was like I should just order them but I got these slippers and they are so cute they are um just a like slip on and they're so soft and cozy the ones that I wear these are so worn out and they're kind of falling apart so I wanted to get a pair to replace them with I'll probably still wear these ones occasionally but I just wanted to get another one and I thought that these were cute for the fall and they always have like such good deals on the sale and then I got a couple of Barefoot Dreams things. This is a blanket and I am obsessed with their blankets. They're so soft and cozy and just like the best material. And I have a gray one at Brandon's house, but I wanted um, to get one for my apartment. So I just got their pearl one and I wanna open it in use it and then i also got this robe this is their cozy light short robe and i love the material it is so soft and it is their short one but i still feel like it's kind of long i'm only five feet for reference so if you get their regular length you probably want to be a little bit taller and i did think that this robe was going to be more of a cream color i feel like it's a little gray you can kind of see against the blanket that there is a gray tone to it or like a silver. So I might switch the robe color for their tan one just so that it matches the slippers a little better. Not that it really matters, but I do like it when my stuff matches. And even though this was on sale, I still think it's expensive and I wanna make sure I get the colors that I like the best. So I'm probably just gonna go to Nordstrom and look at the robe colors and then I might exchange it. But it's nice to have stuff like this when um, you just wanna be warm and comfy and cozy. And I pretty much use this every day. So I think it's worth it. morning it's sunday today and we're having the most cozy and gloomy weekend i can't believe it's still raining here it's so unlike vegas to have this much rain in the summer brandon and i had such a fun day yesterday he's actually been sick this past week and he's starting to feel a little bit better so we were able to spend most of the day together we went and got coffee and then we just drove around and went to random places and we listened to music we were listening to trippy red's new album and then we ended up at this park that we really like to go to and we went for a walk and we just sat outside and talked and got some fresh air so we did that for a couple of hours and then we went back to his house and we ended up just getting a bunch of blankets and we got cozy in the living room and we started a new show. We're watching Painkillers, which just came out and it's only one season. It's like six episodes and we literally binged five episodes of it. We only have one left. So it's been fun to just kind of chill watch that we went and picked up food and it was really fun so i've had a super good weekend and today it's still raining so probably just gonna do kind of like the same thing watch netflix i need to fold laundry because i washed and dried a couple loads but i didn't get around to folding it so doing a little bit of a reset today I want to clean and get ready for the week because I actually have a really busy week 
my mom is coming tomorrow to visit me for a couple days and I'm really excited to see her. We've both been kind of busy this summer, but her especially, she's been traveling a lot and she was in Seattle for like a month or maybe a little bit longer. So she's been gone, but she's gonna come see me for a couple days, Monday to Thursday morning. And then Thursday morning, I actually go to Nashville for a brand trip and I'm just gone Thursday to Saturday. So I wanna have pretty much everything ready and done before the week starts so that I don't feel like overwhelmed or anything. I was editing a vlog for a little bit this morning so I can finish that and get that uploaded today. But I'm excited to see my mom. I'm super excited to go to Nashville because I've never been before. And I don't know which girls are going. So it's kind of like a surprise. I don't really know what to expect, but it's gonna be a really fun trip, so. I saw the prettiest rainbow, you guys. And I didn't have my camera and I was so bummed because it was so beautiful. It was huge and I was going into Target and then there was a bunch of people like standing out front of Target and I was like, what are they looking at? So when I got out, I like turned around and there was this giant rainbow and it was just so cool to see because I don't think I've ever seen anyone or any rainbow that pretty before. So that kind of just made my day. But this is what I've been up to this morning. I read some of Regretting You, which I just started and I'm not that far into it yet, but it's a good book. I wrote in my five minute journal, drinking some matcha. because I'll probably have coffee with Brandon later. So I just wanted to have matcha. And then I was editing a vlog. So need to make the bed. 